to eat off another man's table. Okay, what's up guys? So I think this is a very valid question and the intro there was just talking about the Latin for the term parasite and it literally means to eat off another man's table. So there's a lot of debate out there, a lot of questions as to what you should eat if you're doing a parasite cleanse, etc. and what do parasites actually eat. And in my experience, in my opinion, Anything you set before them, they're going to eat. And that's just the basics of how it goes. They're a parasite. They feed off of anything you feed on. Some of the adults' phases, some other phases, other parasites just feed on your blood. So it doesn't matter. If you got blood, if you're alive, they're feeding. And I really bring this up because some people, there's just so much to go into. Uh, you know, it's probably it probably is good to avoid eating... Um, denser, heavier meals and stuff for some time. And honestly, I think the best thing you can do is just stop eating, you know, like processed foods, super carbohydrates, you know, anything that fits into that category. And you'll be doing yourself a favor because it's more nutritious for you. It's better for you. Um, so a lot of people, this is one thing that made me want to bring this up. Some people said that B vitamins is something that parasites feed on. And yes, I believe that to be true. The thing is, I would not cut out B vitamins from my daily regimen because I know how essential they are for my quality of life. And the thing is, B vitamins in the quantities that I need personally don't exist in foods naturally. That's why we have fortified foods. If you wanted to learn more about this, you could look up Pellegra. You could re read the book Niacin, The True Story by Abram Hoffer and Andrew Saul. You could learn more through Andrew Saul's website, dryourself.com. I love those resources. Those are all things that have helped me to come to the conclusions of where I'm at today. There's other people that say, well, you got to get rid of dairy. And the problem with dairy is we don't have enough enzymes, in my opinion. We... we uh, you know, we highly process the dairy and remove everything that's beneficial and everything that's living. And uh, yeah, in that extent, it can end up uh, clogging our lymphatic system and congesting our liver. But if you're doing acupressure on your liver, if you're jumping on a mini tramp or a rebounder, as they call them, maybe at least just five minutes a day or as needed, that can clear your lymphatic system. So I don't really think there's any reason to avoid dairy. People say you should avoid meat. However, if you go to meatheals.com, you'll learn a bunch of testimonials and stories of people who are able to completely reverse skin issues, parasites, other problems by just eating meat. Because studies show that as you continue to consume meat and meat alone, your body is able to increase its digestive secretions because the things in meat are able to support those things. So uh, this is this comes to another one, sugars. This gets so complicated because there's so many different types of sugars out there. And people argue uh, plant-based sugar, sugars naturally from foods don't feed candida XYZ and wouldn't feed parasites, but I disagree. I just, you know, I agree with a lot of those other health specialist people on those things for uh, XYZ things, but the bottom line is fruit sugars, the way we know them today, the ones that you're buying in the store are, they're, they're conventionally bred to be larger. They're conventionally bred to have more sugars. They're nowhere close to the nature that they were once. Uh, I remember being in northern Michigan and summertime, fall, wild strawberries, wild blueberries, they were like as small as a dime or smaller. And they were so sweet and delicious, but there's no way you're going to find millions of them. You're not just going to eat them nonstop. And I also have this opinion about fruit sugars because my kids, they just go crazy when their blood sugar crashes after they've had like you know, X, Y, Z, low sugar fruits in the morning. And I just, I tend to stay away from those. So I would really suggest moving on to eating foods that will truly improve your digestion and improve your lymphatic system, improve your liver health. And those are going to be things like lemon and limes, bitter foods, sour foods, probiotic foods, increasing uh, natural sea salt intake, 
I would definitely suggest that because your body needs the sea salt to do that. Your, your body's going to need the cholesterol to produce um, you, your bile secretions from your liver. If you don't have enough cholesterol, you're not going to have the bile you need to digest foods. Um, I think that's really all I got to say, guys. This is quick and just want to say thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Um, if you had any other questions, anything you wanted to add, I am always happy to hear from you guys. And I appreciate this little community that we've built. Stay healthy.